Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland tossing out a ceremonial first pitch at the recent Baltimore Orioles Military Appreciation Day event. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, an update on this year's 4th of July celebration, an in-depth discussion on COVID-19, and there's a blood drive coming up. These stories and more at first at the June Installation Town Hall this week. Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland opened with what he described as not good news. He announced that due to rising COVID transmission rates in the surrounding counties, it's likely that Fort Meade will phase up to health protection condition HPCon Charlie very soon. And before I continue, please note that by the time you're watching this show, conditions may have changed already. The Colonel says going to HPCon Charlie will meet reintroduction of some transmission mitigation efforts like wearing masks indoors at work, but he emphasized that a possible new HPCon Charlie won't look like it did at the beginning of the pandemic. We've learned uh, um, we've, we, the, the nature of the population has changed, uh, meaning that um, we have very high vaccination rates, especially for the people that come to work every day here on the installation. Um, and so the conditions that we're operating under are different now than previously. And so we've taken all of that into account when we've looked at the mitigation measures that we were going to recommend if we move to HPCon Charlie. The Colonel went on to answer several questions involving the impact of rising COVID rates. Among these, the status of this year's 4th of July red, white, and blue celebration. What I am advocating for and what I believe that we will be able to deliver for the community is an event like we held last year where we will do fireworks. Uh, we're working on getting some music so the fireworks are synced up with some music. Um, but that is, right now, that is the primary plan on the table. Um, so a much reduced Red, White, and Blue Days, we won't be inviting um, the external community on the installation. There's much, much more from the town hall. You can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Meanwhile, in a related story on the next episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified, the team talks with the Chief of Preventive Medicine at Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center, Lieutenant Colonel Devin Wiles, about COVID and the recent rise in transmission rates. We are seeing increased cases. The cases, we're seeing a lot less fatality, and that is a uh, function both of the amount of vaccinations and that you know, the vaccines are very good against protecting against that sort of severe, potentially fatal disease, and the fact that we are seeing less fatal variants yeah. uh, as well. So that, that works in our favor, but as far as just overall infection, it is definitely getting worse. For the entire conversation, go to the Digital Mead page on the Fort Meade website or wherever you may get your podcasts. Elsewhere, the Army's 247th birthday is coming up and Club Mead is hosting an Army Heritage Observance on Tuesday, June 14th. The guest speaker is Major General Alan Pepin, Commander Joint Task Force National Capital Region and Army Military District of Washington. The music is being provided by the U.S. Army Field Band. Once again, help celebrate the Army's birthday June 14th from 1131 at Club Mead. Also coming up on June 14th, the Armed Services Blood Program is staging a blood drive at the McGill Training Center from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can make an appointment by going to militarydonor.com. The sponsor code is FTMead. Once again, the blood drive is June 14th from 9 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. And here's a reminder from MWR and the Family Advocacy Program. The program is presenting the next six-week session of the Co-Parenting Psychoeducational Workshop on June 21st. The forum is focused on educating participants to better understand the dynamics of co-parenting. The goal is to help foster relationships whether the spouses are co-parenting from afar or locally. It's open to DOD ID cardholders and is available in person or virtually. For more information, contact Family Advocacy at 301-677-4118. And finally this week, we close with a message from TRICARE and Summer Safety. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week. Mm -hmm.